the battle. Imam Hussein's supporters insisted on being the first to fight. Therefore, they took the brunt of the enemy's attack. The battle was ferocious. Within a short time, the Imam's supporters slay a large number of the enemy fighters. They were on the offensive and the enemy on the defensive. This caused apprehension and confusion in the enemy military. The 72 of Hussein's against the 5,000 of the enemy being on the defensive. So worried and nervous, the enemy commander-in-chief ordered his army not only to set fire to the Imam's tent, which were occupied mostly by frightened females and children, but at the same time reinforced his fighters with more troops. The heroes began to fall. They were men of valor welcoming martyrdom and they fell one after another, for the enemy was overwhelming in number and by noontime the Imam stopped the fight to perform the Salat. By this time, those left were mainly his family and a few supporters. They performed the Salat together. Two supporters were guarding the performers of Salat and the enemy was standing still watching. When Salat was finished, one of the guards fell dead and there were 17 arrows in his back. Ali Akbar, Hussein's son, obtained permission to fight and dashed toward the enemy. He engaged them in fierce fighting, falling on them like thunder, slaying numerous fighters. He continued to move forward deep inside the enemy. The enemy was overpowering in number. It overwhelmed him, cutting him with swords and spears, and his body became nothing but wounds gushing blood until he died. Imam Hussain rushed to the area and picked up the wounded limp body and brought it to the appalled camp. His sister and others in the camp were horrified and shocked at the scene. Abbas and five other brothers of Imam Hussein went to fight. They also engaged the enemy in fierce fighting, almost doing the impossible. Abbas went toward the river to bring some water for the thirsty children. And while he was returning on the horse with the water, he was attacked by a large horde of the enemy, overwhelming and severely wounding him. And as much as he tried, Abbas could not save the water. He fell from his horse to breathe his last. Abbas.